start with our double slacks. So we can just say them because I think we know them by now. So one plus one. So one plus one equals two. Two. Two plus two equals four. 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 Three plus three equals six. 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 All right, good. So those are your doubles facts. So you've been having them in your workbook. Uh, well, today was your first, I mean, yesterday was your first day having it in your workbook. This week, you will actually have it on your math test this week. So this week, when you take your math test, you will not only have your work page that we've been doing, but you also have a facts page as a test as well. So now you have two pages for your math test. So it's important we practice our facts daily so that we are prepared for the test on Friday, Thursday, not Friday, on Thursday. Okay, let's write this some more work. So I have in between numbers, I have 43 and I'm ending with 45. What number is missing in between the two? What number is missing? No, that's not what I'm asking. 44. 44, 43, 44, 45. What's the other one? Next, I have 79. I'm ending with 81. What number will go in between the two? Yes. 80. And then go to the rest of the candle. Next, I have 105. And I'm ending with 107. What number will go between 105 and 107? That's the one that you can go sit outside. 106. 106. Awesome. Okay, so those are in between numbers. Remember, guys, it will make it will, when you count, it'll make sense. 43, 44, 45, 79, 80, 81, 105, 106, 107. It makes sense. Yeah. All right, so we practice the penny, which is a coin. When we have a penny, what do we count by? One. One. We count by one with pennies because a penny is worth how much money? One, one cent. cent. A penny is worth one cent. Remember when we are counting coins, we always say cents and we make sure we put our cent symbol. If we don't have a cent symbol, then it is not money. And so we have to make sure when we're counting coins, we put the cents to show that we were counting money. We were counting coins. Okay. So look at my first amount up here. Would anybody like to count it out for us and tell us how much money it is? Okay, Braylee, count it all out for us. How much money? Seven what? Seven cents. Remember cents, guys. Okay, next one here. Anybody wants to count? Okay, Asa, count this one for us. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six. Ten cents. Good. Ten cents. See, I have my cent symbol. We have to make sure to put our cent symbol in the right bathroom. Our cent symbol, okay? All right, so let's practice some story problems. Okay, so I will say a story problem. I want you to tell me the number of sentence, okay, of my story problem. All right? Tim had five jelly beans and he got six more jelly beans. What kind of story problem would this be? Tim had five jelly beans and he got six more jelly beans. What kind of story problem is this? Some, some went away, some, some more. Cairo bathroom, David. Some, some more. What would my number sentence be? Let's see who was listening closely and they can tell me what the number sentence is. Not four, he started with five, six. Five plus six, it does equal 11. Good, so that means Tim has a total of 11 jelly beans. Go send and touch your hands. All right, next one. Rose picked 10 flowers. She gave five flowers to mom. Would this be a some, some more or some, some went away? Where's the thing at? 
Some, some what? Some, some went away. She had 10 and she gave away five. So my number of sentences would be what? How many did she start with? 10 minus how many she gave away? Five equals five. 10 minus five equals five. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right, awesome. So that's just practicing number of sentences. I think we have this down by now. At least we should have. You were great, able to create your own last week. So I think we're good. All right, so we're going to learn some new math facts. So we covered our doubles facts, which is adding the same number twice. Now we will learn what's called the plus one facts. And you can see that here on the board that I'm adding one more plus one to each fact. So basically, it's just like you're just counting and you're just saying a number that's one more. Okay. All right, so let's start with the first one. One plus one. Does anyone know what one plus one equals? You can tell me. Two. Okay, two plus one. Three. Three plus one. Four. Say it before you shout it. Four plus one. Four. Five. Five. Five, that's why we gotta think before we say it. Five six. plus one. Six. Six plus six. one. Seven. Eight. Thank you, Asa, for waiting. Eight plus one. Nine. Nine. And nine plus one. Ten. Ten. Good. So these are the plus one facts. Very easy facts. All we're doing is adding one more to what we already had. So let's go over them. Let's start with one plus one. One plus one equals one plus one. Two plus one equals three, three, three. Three plus one. Seven, seven, four, four, four. Four plus one equals five, five, five. Five plus one equals six, six, six. Six plus one equals seven, seven, seven. Seven plus one equals eight, eight, eight. Eight plus one equals nine, nine, nine. And nine plus one equals 10, 10, 10. Awesome. So these are our new math facts, our plus one facts. So now we have our double facts, and now we have the plus one facts. Those are the two math facts you will begin to see on your workbook page. It'll, it started off with just doubles, but then it'll start to mix up, and you'll see the one plus one eventually in your workbook as well. Okay. All right. Awesome. So that is it for our math. Go ahead and get out your letters book. Let's practice our cursive letter W on today, oh. which is on page 23 in your book, your letters book. Sanitize to have a bathroom. On you. 23. I want I want I want I want I want I Person, a little bit of your 
All right. So letter W is our letter on today, page 23. I will go ahead and go over it and I'll let you work on it for a little while. Okay, so letter W starts. The letter W is kind of like an upside down N, uh, right? Yesterday you did M, but it's like an upside down N. Remember, N has two humps. So it's just like flipped because they got it like that. Whatever. So anyway, W starts here on the red line. First thing you do is you're going to curve up to your middle line. You go back down that same line. You do one hump up, up to the middle, down. Make sure you're touching your red line up. Then you kick it out, which is it is for your connector. Again, down. So it's important, guys, to go back down the same line. If you don't, this is what it looks like. If you don't go back down the same line, we don't want it to look like that. So whatever line you go up, make sure you come back down that line so that it looks perfectly like this, okay? You can begin, start your warm up at the top and you can do the whole page. I'll let you know when time is up for us to move on to the next thing, okay? You have any questions, Asa? No, all right. Asa, are you done? No, not yet? No, okay, I'll give you another minute and go over your sentences. So this week in writing, we are practicing writing proper nouns of places in sentences. Last week, what's it down? Last week, we practiced proper nouns of people, like writing their names in sentences. This week, it's we're doing the same thing, but now it's places. Remember, in our, when something is a proper noun, it is a special name of something. And because it's a special name, we are writing, <clears throat> we write it with a capital letter, okay? Now, yesterday you did practice a couple of sentences. Today we'll do some more, but I want to show you something a little different today when it comes to capitalizing proper nouns of places. So number one, it says, Dad went fishing at Lake Green, Okay. So what would be the place in here? What is the proper noun place in this sentence? Dad went fishing at Lake Green. What's the proper noun of the place? Lake Green. Now, excuse me. Now this proper noun of a place is broken into two words, okay? It's Lake and Green. They are both considered a proper noun. So that means when you write both of them, you capitalize both the L and the G. Sometimes proper nouns are broken into two separate words. Although they are broken into two separate words, it is still the proper noun name and you have to capitalize each one. Do you understand what I'm saying? So whenever you ask most proper nouns, yes, there'll be one word. But some proper nouns, they're split into two. For example, Lake Green. Lake Green is the name of the lake where he went fishing. That's a proper noun. If I would just say my dad went fishing at the lake, that's a common noun. We could be talking about any lake. But when I say Lake Green, I am naming the lake. Also, it's split into two, but you have to capitalize both. Lake Green, okay? So try number one out and I'll look at just number one. Write that one and then let me see. I'll be saying what to do. Let's see who's listening and who's going to write it correctly. Wait. Number one. No. You did the sentence correctly. So number one, dad went fishing at Lake Green. I had to capitalize first letter D. And remember our proper noun we identified was Lake Green. I said, although it's separated into two, we still have to capitalize both. So that means I had to capitalize the L in Lake the G in green, and then I finish with the period. Good job, guys. Awesome. So now for those who were not paying attention, let's do it for number two. Number two, Greg's party was at Sky Zone. Again, Greg's party was at Sky Zone. What is my proper noun of a place inside of this sentence? Okay, now look at Sky Zone, guys. It's split into two words as well. 
Would I capitalize both? Yes, I would capitalize my S and I would capitalize my Z because although it's two separate words, it's still the name of a proper noun of a place. Sky zone. Okay, so go ahead and write number two. Greg's party was at sky zone. So number two, Greg's party was at sky zone. How should I write this one correctly? What am I capitalizing in the beginning? G. The Jean Greg. Okay, what else am I capitalizing? Also, Asa, what else am I capitalizing? The, the S. S in sky. And the Z. Z in zone. And how do I finish it? With the period. Good. So remember, guys, even though the proper noun may be split into two words, oh, yeah. they're both yeah. still the name. So you have to capitalize both. All right, number three is basic. It'll have just one. So number three says, I live in America. What's our proper noun of a place in this sentence? What is it? America. America. So that means when I write it, I should have a capital A. So go ahead into number three. This is so. All right, so for phonics, we will do what's called clue cards. Okay, that's what we'll practice sometimes. We won't do it every day, but we'll do it sometimes when we have our lesson. Yep. So we have our clue cards, which has our special sounds on the clue cards. And there's a bunch of example words on the back that you can practice. So usually when we review our clue cards, what I do is I, we will say the sound, CK says in duck, and I will give you a clue to guess a word on the back. Now the word that you guess has to match the clue, right? You can't just shout out a word, but that means you'll have to read through them to figure out which word it is. So I will give you a clue and then you have to read the words and then you'll figure out by reading them which word I am talking about. So we'll do an example with CK. Can you sit down? CK says in dub. All right, this is what you have to do to your doors to protect your items inside of your house. Read them, read them, you can raise your hand. So this is what you do to your doors so that you can protect the items that are inside of your house. So someone will, will not be able to just walk inside of your house. What word would I be looking for? Lock. Lock, see, that's how it goes. So I just give you clues, you have to just guess what word it is. That's all it is, pretty simple. This is gonna be a fun game. Is it a game? Okay, so let's go to our next one. Is this a game? Oh, y'all are asking the wrong questions. All right, next one we have A-Y, let's say it. A-Y says A-A-A-N, pray. Okay, this is what the Lord gives us every time we lay our head down and we open our eyes, we have to say, thank you, Lord, for giving us a new one of these. Which word is it? Raising your hand, guys. Which word? Stay. No, not stay. Asa? Day. Day. Remember, guys, you got to read through all of them. I won't always pick the first one. Good. Day. All right, next one. ST says in stop. Okay, this is a direction you can go in. It's the opposite of east. I'm not calling anybody that's standing. Kendall? It's the direction we go in. It's the opposite of east. No. West. West. 
Next one, PL says pull, 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 pull in, in plane. plane. All right, this is whenever you are, uh, well, I was gonna say the word, whenever you are trying to do something and it's a big thing that you have to do, it's good to make one of these so that you know exactly what you need to do instead of just going at it and not knowing. It's important to make one of these so that you say, okay, I have to do this, then I have to do that, then I have to do this. I don't, it's important, I'm not, I'm not coming by this daily, to make a what? Plan. What you said? Plan. To make a plan. Your plan will help you to figure out what to do. It was plan. Make a plan. FR says fur, 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 and frog. All right, this is what you put a picture in. Oh, I know. Read them, read all of them before you guess. This is what you put a picture in. Who did? A frame. A picture in a frame. Oh, I know, I know, I know. All right, next one. TR says, sure, sure, sure. And... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, this is <clears throat> something that dogs get as rewards whenever they obey. They will get this a tree. Do you see how all the words match the special sound? All right, next one. S H says shh and ship. Okay, this is what you use to buy things. Don't say money. Money does not have S H in it. This is what you use to buy things. I was gonna call you, but you're standing. Taro, cash. Oh, yeah, yeah, money. Yeah, money. Okay, TH says in thick. Okay, this is what you have to take every day so that you're clean. Oh, yeah. Michael, a bath. A bath. I hope. I really take a bath. All right, next one, B, L says bull, 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 and black. A consonant and a vowel together is called a? A consonant and a vowel together is called a? A blend, just blend, just blend. All right, C, L says pull, 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 and clock. Okay, when something is dirty, you have to do I, what to it? Oh, oh yeah. You have to sit. I'm not calling you. I'm not. Kendall? Clean. Clean. DL says go, 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 and glue. All right. This is something you have to be careful when holding it so it doesn't break. Oh, yeah. Asa? Glass. Glass. Okay. And our last one, FL says full, 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 and flake. This is something that has 13 stripes, seven red, six white, and a field of blue. It is a what? It's a what? It has 13 stripes on it, seven red, six blue. 
flag, go. flag, good, awesome, good job. All right, so now we will go over chart seven. So that's how we'll do a clue review. Like I said, we won't do it every day, but we will do it every so often. We will do that. No, absolutely not. All right, uh, Braylee, you can grab chart seven. All right, let's go over chart seven. All right, BR says GR, GR, PR says per, 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 and GR says grr. C says in scat S K says in skate S P says in spade C I'm sorry yes cur 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 in crab T third away third away no twa twa in twins. SPL says full, 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 and splash. SPR says spur, 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 and sprain. SCR says spur, 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 and scream. SQU says squawk, 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 and squeak. SN says sn, 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 and snack. SL says slow, 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 and sleep. STR says stir, 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 and stream. SW says swap, 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 and swim. All right, excuse me, awesome. That's chart seven. Today we're learning our next two sounds on chart seven, which are SN that says sn, and SL that says soul. All right, so I'll go ahead and circle the sounds and mark the vowels. So we have S N S N two vowels. So that's a long A, silent I. What's the word? Read it. Nail. That's S N. Nail. 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 All right, mood. How do we write mood? Okay, I guess I'm having a hard time today. Can we? M O O D. All right, next word, boy. Oh, boy. I think I did. Okay, good. Next one, we have SL. And then we put a smiley face over E. The word is, tell me. Sled. Sled. Next one, we have SN. Smiley face over I. E. The word is. Nip. Nip. Next one, SL. So, smiley face over A. Ah. The word is. Slam. Slam. Next one, S N S N. Long vowel A, silent E. The word is snake. Snake. And then the last one, S L S L. 
Long vowel E, we cross out the other two E's. The word is sleeve. sleeve. So that special sound okay. SN that says sm, SL that says sl. All right, today we're going to learn a new type, some new type of words. So if you look at these words here, they look like they're really long, but there's something special about these words. I know. These words are called compound words. I know. Let's go together. Compound words is what they're called. So you may say, what is a compound word? Let me tell you. It's when we have two small words, right? Two words that are words by themselves. They're two small words that we put together. And when we put them together, it makes one big word. Again, what are compound words? It's when we have two small words that we put together to make one big word. So it's two small words that are words by themselves, but then when we join them together, they become one big word. That's called a compound word. So for example, mailman. Mailman is a word. But what are the two words inside of mailman? What are the two words inside of mailman? Mail, we circle it, and man. Good, sunshine. What are the two small words you hear in sunshine, Asa? Sun and shine. Good, sun and shine. Next, toothbrush. Toothbrush. What are the two small words you hear in toothbrush? Tooth and brush. Tooth and brush. Butterfly. Sit all the way down. Butterfly. What are the two small words you hear in butterfly? Butter. And fly. butter and fly. So these are examples of compound words. It's when we have two small words that we put together to make into one big word. The two small words come together to make a big one, okay? So can you think of your own compound words? Like, can you think of some words that may be like compound words? It's two small words that were put together. Try to think of one or two, whatever.
All right, so let's hear some of your own compound words. What you have? No? Okay. Cowboy. Cowboy. Cow and boy. Cowboy. Good. Cow girl. Cow and girl. Together. Asa? Woodpecker and cupcake. Cupcake, cup and cake. Cupcake, woodpecker. Wood and pecker, woodpecker. Good. Well, not that one. That is a word, but it's arrow doesn't have two small words. It's just arrow. That's just one word by itself. Okay, Tevin. Tiger. That's that's one word by itself. Tiger is just tiger. It's not two separate words. Oh, yeah. oh, wait. Tooth, fairy. tooth fairy. That's all together. I don't know. But tooth and fairy, tooth fairy. Good. You can say backpack, back and pack. Okay. Rainbow, rain, and bow. Okay, awesome. So those are examples of compound words. All right, let's practice our K and C rule. So K goes with C goes with D. All right, so if I have the word coat, what will coat start with? The K or C? Coat. Coat. C, the vowel is O. Coat. Okay, what about if I have the word height? Will it start with the K or C? Height. K, listen to that I. Height. Good. One more. If I have the word kid. Kid, would it start with the K or a C? Kid. K because of that I. I. Good job. All right, I have a few words with circle sounds and then we'll be done for the morning. No, you can leave it. You can leave it. All right, so Braley, first one.
Good job. So those were just a couple of words I wanted to go over in circle. Okay. All right. So that's the end of our Zoom. We cover math, writing, and finance. When we get back, we'll do language, uh, reading, science, and social studies, and review our spelling list for this week. All right, ASAL. See you later. Bye-bye.